What's up, guys? My name is Miles. My name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we are reacting to what is Juneteenth, history behind holiday celebrating the end of slavery. So the reason I wanted to do this, so there was a couple people that asked us to do some type of American history or something like that. Um, so this one actually is very important. So the day that this is going out, uh, our time, it will be Juneteenth. Uh, Juneteenth is the 19th. Mm -hmm. It is the day that, well, we'll let the video explain it, but just know that uh, President Biden signed it into law to being a federal holiday yesterday. Yeah. And it was signed into law on the 16th, I believe. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. So it was signed into law on the 16th. It's, Jan uh, it's June. I said January. No, you said June. Okay. June 19th is the holiday. And this video will explain uh, what the holiday is about. Now, I will admit that in the U.S., unfortunately, it's not very well... Uh, taught it is taught but it's taught to the point that after you're done with that year of education you're gonna forget about it yeah um, but now that it's became more of a relevant thing I think it's so it's kind of sad that it's taken that and I'll be at I'll, I'll be the first to admit it I did completely forget about it up until about two years ago three years ago um, but then I've really kind of recognized myself with it uh, again and I'm really happy to say uh, that it is now a true holiday in the United States. All right, let's check it out. What is Juneteenth? Juneteenth is the oldest known celebration commemorating the ending of slavery in the United States. President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation... And for the people that don't know, I want y'all to be very aware because it does matter in this video. We are from Texas. Yeah. ...proclamation freeing enslaved Africans in the United States in 1862 and the 13th Amendment passed Congress, officially abolishing the institution of slavery in 1863. But it would take years for word to spread. On June 19, 1865, Union soldiers led by Major General Gordon Granger landed at Galveston, Texas, with the news that the Civil War was over and the roughly 250,000 enslaved people there were now free. The orders read, the people of Texas are informed that in accordance with the proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involves an absolute equality of personal rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves, and the connection heretofore existing between them becomes that between employer and hired labor. The freedmen are advised to remain quietly at their present homes and work for wages. They are informed that they will not be allowed to collect at military posts and that they will not be supported in idleness either there or elsewhere. Damn. You might be wondering why it took so long to spread the word. General Robert E. Lee surrendered in April 1865, but Union troops didn't arrive until June. The Emancipation Proclamation only freed enslaved Africans in the Confederate states liberated by Union troops, and that didn't include Texas. Though slaves were lawfully freed, they were far from free. Many were even punished for trying to take advantage of their new rights. One former slave recalled seeing people shot and hanged after trying to escape to freedom. And another shared an account of being asked to work another six years and being whipped just like she was before. Even though the newly freed in Texas didn't receive the full benefits of freedom, they turned the day into a celebration. June 19th was coined Juneteenth, a blending of the words June and 19th. Every year, Juneteenth became a chance for people to get together with family members, Some measure really progress big guys. against freedom, huh? and teach Some really big guys. Yeah, I was I was gonna say something. I was like, I like how they're making them look super buff. It's yeah. awesome. Improvement. They would read the Emancipation Proclamation, hear sermons, share meals, and play games. And many of those same traditions carry on today in Juneteenth celebrations across the country. Texas became the first state to make Juneteenth an official holiday in 1980. Since then, yeah, 46 nobody ever brought it other up. states and the District of Columbia have recognized Juneteenth as a state holiday or holiday observance. Although not a federal holiday, many global companies like Twitter, Square, Nike, and Lyft have made the day a company holiday in the wake of protests to end systemic racism sparked by the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Minnesota. 
Today, more than 150 years after celebrations began, June 19th is about remembering the past and moving toward a future that involves an absolute equality of personal rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves. Juneteenth, a celebration of freedom and the fight for its fulfillment. Yeah. So now it's considered a federal holiday. Yep. As of either the 16th or 17th, I think it went... I want to say it was the 17th. Okay, yeah. And then the 19th. So I'm getting all my days all confused. A bunch of teenths, to be fair. Yeah. Um, That's awesome that, that the United States is moving more towards, you know... And they're saying that it started as a holiday in the 80s. I call BS. Yeah. Like, as a person that's lived here for the majority of their lives nobody ever talked about it uh, until like people were able to be held accountable mm -hmm. for the the racism that's very very apparent yeah now and really like nothing was being done about any of it until the past year or two years yeah. You know, is when everything really became mainstream. And, and I'm ashamed for that. Yeah. As a person 100%. of color, I'm ashamed for that. Yeah. Like, I should have been following this my entire life. And I'm disappointed in myself for not, like, really knowing or really understanding the importance of this. Yeah. So I take myself as there's no excuse. Right. For me. Um, I should have been celebrating this for a lot, a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like it's been very under the carpet. Mm -hmm. Never, nobody ever truly announced it and celebrated it. But they definitely didn't in Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> and to be fair, I grew up in Tennessee as well. So yeah. it was definitely not brought up very much in Tennessee. I mean, we were like, they still flew the the Confederate flag and uh, we had a Confederate soldier in our town square and stuff. Yeah. So uh, there was, it, it's mind boggling. I saw a truck the other day that had the Confederate flags and I'm like, how do they not understand that that is considered racist? And they're, and the argument that I've always heard is it's history or it's, uh, it's, uh, heritage, not hate or something like that. Yeah. And I'm like, no, when, a group of people find it offensive, not just like one person, but an entire group of individuals see it and reminds them of before the Civil War, before the Emancipation Proclamation, when it was considered, and even after that, right, when there was segregation and all these things that were going on because people were still being treated as if they are slaves yeah. or second to people that are white or whatever. Um, so it's just, it, mind, it boggles my mind that as living in Texas, I literally saw it yesterday. I was getting gas and I just saw that and I was like, how does nobody think, how do certain people still like, oh yeah, no, it's, it's not racism. It's like, think about it from the other side. Right. Just take your time, think about it. And if, if there's still no doubt in your mind, then I think unfortunately, you have more issues than just that. So I wanted to put this out more than anything, um, just to show our respect and basically apologize for my ignorance um, and show our pride and that we will be celebrating Juneteenth tomorrow. Yes. So with that being said, my name is Miles. My name is Fez. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.